Brian with uh, the trends. And Brian, I understand that Wizkid Daddy Yo, that's what I call him, is coming to Kenya. All right, good morning to you, Lil and Molly. Sure, Daddy Yo is coming to Kenya and is slated to perform in Nairobi on July the 22nd. And this will be Wizkid's second visit after the October visit where he performed in Mombasa uh, alongside American pop star Chris Brown in the Mombasa Rocks Festival. For, the, for those who do not know Wizkid, because as I was coming here, Lillian, some guys were telling me who is Wizkid. Well, Listen to that particular song. I know Wizkid. <laughs> All right, uh, for those who are asking who is Wizkid, he's actually one of the biggest artists in the continent currently. And I have a lot of information about Wizkid, Lillian. Me too, like <laughs> the fact that my favorite song is with Drake. Have you heard that, Jan? Yes. <laughs> and uh, on to another news about Wizkid, um, he's actually uh, admitted that he has a child with a Guinean American model known as Binta Damon. It will be remembered that Binta Damon last year, that is in February, came out claiming that uh, Wizkid had sired her son, but Wizkid would later deny. But during this uh, Mother's Day celebrations, Wizkid came out and said, I'm so much happy and so proud of my baby mamas. So Wizkid has two children, just like Davido. How and many uh, and I remember the other time you were saying that Davido is young, Wizkid too is young, and they have a lot of energy at their disposal. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of the topics that should actually be discussed on 10 over 10, the baby mama drama. Yeah, yes, there's a lot of baby mama drama out <laughs> here. But all right, moving on swiftly to another story. Uh, gospel singer Sazeta said her marriage to DJ Mo is not undergoing a crisis. Reports surfaced last week Friday claiming that uh, Sazeta has allegedly moved out of their matrimonial home and has rented a house in Runda because apparently and allegedly Saiz, uh, that is uh, her husband DJ Mo cheated on her. But I happen to have an exclusive interview with size 8 and she refuted those reports saying she does not know the genesis of those particular claims. Uh, let's listen in to what she told me. You know, everyone has to talk and you need to be our to and you see, at our to me get how many people have talked about you? Very many people. And um, how many? You can I think I forget my husband or my mm. marriage. Minimum mm. gelelo marangati. Maramoa. Maramoa. Did that mean you spend one week? Hmm. Hmm. Eh, we go and we spend one week. Hmm. 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 Yes, I'm always spending. Mm. Yeah, but that doesn't change anything. Hmm. You know, you carry the name of Christ. Yeah. If true. you are going to react of every comment you get, mm. <laughs> you are in for trouble. All right, if you're going to react on everything that is being said online, Saizet says you are in for trouble and she has assured the fans that her marriage is intact and telling those people, wale wenye anataka ndo yangu ivunjike tafadhali mkoome na mkoome kabisa. All right, still on Matt's marriage, moving on to the father's international scene. Top comedian that is Kevin Hart and his wife Eniko Parish are expecting the first child together and Eniko Parish and Kevin Hart are got married in, on August uh, 14th last year and Hart has a daughter age 12 and a son age 9 from a previous marriage. Kevin Hart, congratulations. You shared a sonogram of uh, the baby just to show us the gender and it's a male baby. Congratulations to Kevin Hart and his wife Eniko Parish. Alright, moving on to another story that really trended a better part of yesterday through to today is uh, that Kenyans online yesterday woke up to shocking images of school-going children barricading Baghdadi Road with their desk to protest demolition of a structure in their school. And it is yet to be known who actually demolished uh, the structures in that particular school located on Baghdadi Road. And a lot of furor, a lot of anger was shared online by especially parents who are online as to why use kids in these particular protests. If you can take a look at some of the tweets that
Kenyans saying online in regards to this particular story of children barricading a uh, road using their desk just to protest uh, a dispute in the school. All right, Edwin CTU there says, whoever came up with this idea should be taught a good lesson by law enforcers. This is bad. And Oscar Morizi Jage says the teachers in that school should be arrested and charged immediately. Those kids can be hurt there. And another tweet by uh, Mohaz Meg, were the parents consulted in this? There is a better way to get hurt that doesn't involve risking innocent kids' lives. And finally, Neta M says, imagine a random rogue motorist or a robber on the run comes across this. Lillian. Yes, Brian. Chip in. What do you think of using kids to barricade road in a bid to protest? That's just evil. Unbelievable. All right. As Lillian says, that is evil and unbelievable. We shouldn't really involve children in protests such as such because it's, it poses a danger to their lives. All right, and moving on to another story that happened in Eldoret uh, on Saturday. You'll see some very uh, scary images in the sense that uh, there was a car that was mangled into a wreck after the driver was involved in a road accident at uh, Paul Boyd Secondary School at Capcom area in Eldoret. And the man is known as Zachary Megiro. He was uh, traveling from Mile Nne to Tarbo when the accident occurred. Okay, this is what happened. Around Capcom area there is a particular bump uh, that is a bit high and there are no signboards on the side. So, uh, there was a truck uh, going right over that particular bump and uh, Zachary Migiro in his car, Toyota RAV4 model, was right behind that particular truck. And right behind Migiro there was also another truck, so it was drizzling. And so the truck behind Migiro's car skidded, ramming into his car from the rear pushing his car to ram into the front truck and reducing that particular Toyota RAV4 into a mangled wreckage. And believe you me, the guy came out of that particular mangled wreckage without a scratch. And this is what he says, that he's never been going to church, he's never gone to church, and his wife time and again tells him, you have to go to church. And he says, I usually accompany her to the church and leave her at the gate as a drive elsewhere. So following this particular miraculous escape, beginning this Sunday, and that was yesterday, I'll be going to church. I happened to have a, an exclusive interview with Mr. Migi, with Mr. Uh, Zachary Migir after the incident, and this is what he had to say. Listen in. Mm -hmm. got them. My wife has been asking me to go to church, but I usually mm -hmm. got them to, to the church's gate, and I turned. So I told him I must that went to church because this was the uh, God's mercy. All right, look at those mangled wreckages there. He says that was at God's mercy, of which it was at God's mercy. Mr. Zachary Megiro, the Likuyani sub county health officer, having survived that scary crash. To God be the glory, as they say. And finally, uh, moving on to a neighboring country that is Tanzania. There are conjoined twins known as uh, Consolata Mwakikuti and Maria Mwakikuti, both 19. They have won the hearts of many people online with a positive approach to life. And they're saying that uh, despite their condition, they hope and they're praying and wish one day they'll get a God-fearing man to marry them. And if I can quote what they said, men out there probably think we will be a burden to them, but I say no, we will love and respect the one who will marry us. We will fight in, the li in life to make our marriage work. That is uh, relationship-wise and economically. If you see the, the interesting story about uh, Maki, the two Mwakikutis, that is Consolata and the Maria, they sat their national exams, an equivalent of Kenya's KCP and KCSC, and what happens is when one writes uh, the test, using the left hand, the other one has to wait until the, uh, the other one finishes writing the test, then, the, he, uh, then she on the other end picks using the left hand. So they're saying life has not been as hard as people may think out there and they're, they're happy that they're doing their individual work without any interference from the other. Such a positive approach to life and they hope to become teachers soon. Lillian, what do you think of that interesting story right there? <laughs> no comment, Brian. <laughs>
All right, that is all we heard from the news, trends, and entertainment this hour. My name is Brian O'Court. For more of uh, comprehensive entertainment news, log on to www.edaily.co.ke. And I'll tell you right there why Rose Muhando has threatened to permanently relocate to Kenya. Back to you, Lillian. <laughs> Thanks for that, Brian. It's always a treat. Um, we're not done with Citizen Extra yet. We've got more coming up for you at the top of the hour with Swalem Doy. Stay with Citizen TV and enjoy the rest of your viewing.